Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm excited to be here today. As you can see, it's September. New releases. Oh, this is awesome. I found this pattern of flowers and purple colors and lavender and this cream color underneath that I just fell completely in love with. And I'm excited to look at it for the entire month of September and it is gorgeous. So I am excited to share this with you guys. I thought this would be a great color going into the next month. And let's get into the listings that I have in my Etsy store. So these new releases, I have um, calendars here. So we'll start with the uh, calendars. Um, as you can see, I have a Sunday start calendar and I have a Monday start calendar. So let me show you my Sunday start calendar. So they're already dated, ready to go for the month of September. You can punch them however you want once you print them out and be side by side like this. Make sure you punch them on the inside so you can open them. And you have a note section or a sidebar over here on this side. And it's Sunday through Saturday. Already dated, ready to go. I love this. I use this to map out when my husband gets paid on the first, third, and so, you know, first, fourth, and 18th of this month. And um, also you can print more than one of these for more than, for several different reasons or different um, planning styles or um, however, you, what you wanna track, things like that. Um, I will be using three, maybe four of these, I'm not sure, calendars. So you get to print as many as you want and as much as you need. Uh, my first calendar is going to be for my budget, uh, for my uh, bills that are, come out every month. Either I um, set up a date that they're going to come out of my bank account or the uh, they're already set up and they have a due date and I just map them on here and I figure out what pay check pays what bill. And that's why I like putting it on a calendar. Uh, the other calendar I'm going to use is to track my expenses with my weekly check-ins which I have a video coming up. It's late, but it's coming up soon about last week's uh, weekly check-in. So yes, yeah, September weekly check-in, um, track the expenses on your grocery household, restaurant, miscellaneous, um, gasoline, things like that. Those day-to-day -day expenses that just pop up when you spend it. They have no due date. <laughs> they have no real you know, timing. It's just when you need them, you go get them. And that's what we're going to do with the second calendar. My third calendar is more of a content planner where I plan out and kind of make note of what videos I want to um, make or what prep I need to do before the video, things like that. And that'll be another calendar. I think I'm only going to do three. So yeah, these are very versatile. You can use them for work. You can use them for your family. You can use them for so many different reasons and print as many as you need. And this is one listing by itself. So I have a Sunday start listing. And like I said a minute ago, I have a Monday start listing. Um, this is a separate listing. So if you feel like your weekends all on one side, so you can just plan it all on one end and start your Mondays over here, then this is the calendar for you. Obviously I have a notes sidebar section on the side. So plenty of room to map out what you need to for your weeks and days to come. And this is the month of September. I'm so excited. Um, I mean, as much as this year has been slow, it has been fast. And I can't believe we're already in September. This is just amazing. So here we go. September budget. My first one is fixed or variable and fixed expenses. This is a single listing by itself. This sheet in particular has four income. 10 variable and 10 fixed expenses, and then a line for income minus expenses here at the bottom so you can budget out how much of a buffer you left, have left over after paying all your bills and um, budgeting out your daily expenses. So yeah, I love this sheet. I normally do not separate my variable and fixed expenses, but a lot of people do, and they really it really makes sense for them to do that. So I have this budget sheet. But if you have more than 10 variable and 10 fixed, and you still want to keep them separate, um, this may not be the sheet for you. This is a really good one for someone who is beginning budgeting and they're in college or high school and they don't have a lot of bills yet. This would be perfect. But for us that have been around the block for a while and we have um, been paying bills a long time 
And if you do separate your variable and fixed incomes, or incomes, well, your in budgets, then um, expenses, then I have a two sheet, um, what, six, is it six line? Yeah, six line income, 20 variable and 20 fixed expenses with a little section for notes over here and your a line for your income minus expenses. This is actually new to my sheet. I didn't do this last time, but I am glad I put it in this time. Um, it just makes so much more sense because I was writing notes outside the margins going, why do I want to write notes? I can put this into the budget sheet. So I put it in and I'm excited. So this is a single listing by itself. And so if you need something that has more variable lines and more fixed lines, I have that available as well. Um, and this little note section, I love this. I write notes all over my budget sheets um, to kind of give me a heads up for the next month um, on changes that are coming or changes that I need to make, subscriptions either added or taken away, or um, bills that are going to start occurring. It's just a place to put information so when the next month comes around, when you look back, you can kind of check and see, oh, what's going on? Oh, okay, I need to remember this. So I love this. And the color, I just love this color. So this is the fixed and or variable and fixed expenses for two page budget sheet um, as a single listing. The next listing I have is my all time favorite listing, but it's not the listing I actually use because it doesn't have enough lines for me. <laughs> this is just an income and expense budget sheet. If you really don't need to separate variable and fixed expenses, then this is the sheet for you. This has five income and 20 expenses and you list them however you want. <laughs> so this is what I enjoy. I just prefer to list what my expenses are. I don't care if they fluctuate month to month like utility bills or anything. I just put them down. So yeah, uh, and um, it has enough room for somebody just like you know, a beginner budgeter or somebody single or doesn't have a lot of bills or something like that, or even a family that's very minimalistic on their bills um, and they don't have a lot of debts and credits and stuff like that, that they're paying on, then this might be perfect because there's only 20 uh, in expense lines. Um, so it could definitely work, but it may not. It depends. So yeah, this is the September expense, income and expense sheet, but I do have the actual budget sheet that I actually use, and I'm excited to get into this one for September. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's already September. School starting for my son, and oh, life is just, just keeps trucking along, <laughs> no matter how crazy it is out there. So this is what I actually use. This has six income lines and 45 line expenses. And I put everything down. Every, if it's $2.99 a month, I put it here. And that's my iTunes. So if it's 50 cent a month, I'm going to list it. So I need to add to the list. And what I also do, once I put all my budget down, I usually go about here with my, my budget that I know of. When I start buying things and spending out of my buffer, I make line items for those as well. So... I don't, oh, I don't fill it all the way up, but I get very close. <laughs> I need a lot of lines. And that's why I made this listing. And this is a single listing on its own. And um, my favorite budget sheet. The next listing I have is a brand new listing this month. And this is a monthly notes sheet. So the monthly note sheets is just something that if you don't want to write all over your um, budget sheets or anything like that, you can purchase one of these. It's a single listing by itself, and you can um, just add that to the back and print as many as you need as far as monthly notes go. Um, I think it's a great simple note sheet of paper to kind of track things and keep everything together and making it look pretty because if it looks pretty for us, we're probably going to come back and check it out <laughs> so and come back and look at it. The next listing I have is my paycheck to paycheck budgeting. I love paycheck to paycheck budgeting. Oh my goodness. There are five sheets in this listing because I list five paychecks. 
and there's paycheck one, two, three right here, and then four and five over here. Just lay them side by side. As far as the page itself, it's all the same down here. The only thing changed was the number on the top. And for my paychecks here, I have four income and I have 21 exp uh, expense items below. Um, so you can write your expenses for just that paycheck period. So you know literally how much money you have available in the in actual cash in your bank account for that paycheck period. That paycheck hits the bank, say you get $2,000, $2,000 income. Bam, write down your expenses. Okay, I have $500 left over. You, and that's what I budgeted for 500. Oh, this expense came up. I had to use part of that 500. Oh, this came up. And you can track it and definitely keep yourself with uh, within budget in order to not go over that $500 when you write it down and you look at back and reflect at your bank account so you know what you have available to um, spend. So I love paycheck to paycheck budgeting. That's It's just one of my favorites because I can't see everything monthly. I, I like seeing everything monthly to guess what we could potentially save by the end of the month, but I need to know what I have per paycheck period. And that's what makes sense to me. So um, this is all one listing. You get all five sheets. You don't have to print all five sheets. Um, most people print maybe two or four. Um, I usually only have to have three, but I give all five, one listing, one price. So there's that listing. Next listing I have, which I've really enjoyed and I've learned a lot about by working it out myself, is the weekly check-in. So this is new to me. It's not new to the budgeting world, but it's new to me. <laughs> and this is another way to budget. Um, weekly checking in is just making sure you're staying on top of your money. It's a lot like the uh, paycheck to paycheck, but it just keeps you from overspending one week and not having enough for the next week. And that's what I like about it. You don't have to do both. You can pick one or the other if that's how you budget and that's your budgeting style and that works for you. But this, um, it's been interesting to try out and um, I plan to keep doing it. I like doing budgets many different ways and showing you many ways of doing a budget so that you can pick what works for you. And this is another one I've just added. I've had this in my shop every month, but um i just now starting to use it <laughs> so um so you have five weeks i do five weeks for every month regardless if there's a five week month or not um sometimes there's like two or three days at the end of the month and you might want to budget that separate i don't know so i just leave the five weeks regardless and then i have a notes page over here um with 19 lines for you to make notes on your spending habits um anything you want to pass along for the next month or changes you want to make you just write it down that that tangible way of writing it connects to the brain and makes you remember so much better um, if you're like me and you can't remember anything five seconds after you thought of it so <laughs> it's just one of those things and so that's a weekly check-in it's a listing all by itself now this is a single listing it's the transaction log this time I decided to do this one as a single listing and um, it has 27 lines here for you to put the date, amount, description, and balance um, for your transactions. You can use this in conjunction with any uh, other budget sheet if you need a transaction log to go with that. One of them, and I will show you later, is like the um, sinking funds. A lot of people have sinking funds, but they also use a transaction log with it. So that's why I did this as a single listing, if that's something you would want by itself or have it with a listing of seven others. So I have a listing with a transaction log included, household, grocery, and then my favorite and the way I actually write things up are grocery household combined, um, restaurants, uh, miscellaneous, and gasoline, which I need to put some gas in my car soon. Took me all month, but I think I need to fill it up. <laughs> so yeah, see if I can get this all on here. I'm not quite on the screen very well, but that's okay. You can see it. So yeah, all seven of these are in one listing 
and you can use these if you track your stuff separately and you don't track on a calendar like I showed in the beginning you can use one of the calendars to track your spending with uh, on each day for the weekly check-in. A lot of people do that. I don't prefer to do it that way. I prefer to have a transaction log and then write down everything that I spend for, for these four categories over here. This is my actual transaction logs that I actually use. So I'll be using this. I thought I would separate these in case somebody wanted them separated, this one separated but I have all of them in one listing. So Sorry. you can pick and choose whatever you would like to print in order to work on your budget. So yeah, that is that listing. The next listing I have is the sinking fund listing. This is a single listing all by itself. And if you have the, have the transaction log or you buy it separate, um, you can add that to it and you can create your sinking funds and have your categories, your beginning, what you added, what you subtracted, and then the ending balance. And then if you spend out of those categories, you can track that over here. Use a highlighter method to um, designate each category and then know what you spent and put it, put it over here. So um, yeah, that's the sinking funds. I also have a debt tracker where you can start to track your debt, your starting balance, how much you paid, any interest paid, and then ending balance. And last but not least, your, so last but not least is your savings tracker. And I really like the savings tracker. You just have your date, your beginning, um, how much you added, how much you subtracted, and your ending balance. So however you set up your savings, this is a way of tracking it and it's simple and it's straightforward and I really like it. So that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching my video today on my new releases and have enjoyed seeing all the different budget sheets that I have available and that these are something that you would be interested in. I have um, an Etsy store online and it's called Lisa's Faith Budget Plan. And Lisa's, um, and this is my um, Etsy store right here. When it pops up, that's what you'll see. And um, I'm excited to share this with you. So if you are interested in any of these budget sheets, they're available in my shop, in my Etsy store online. So I hope you go check them out and let me know. Give me feedback. I would love to hear about it and see what you thought. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.